So what you're looking at here is uh, left side is uh, how things work in New Zealand and the Czech Republic when it comes to uh, the value of solar uh, as an offset to your consumption. Whereas on the right hand side is the rest of the world, which includes Australia, of course. Now, you might think, uh, let me kind of run through a little bit. I've given two scenarios for New Zealand and both of these are three phase installations. So it's a three phase uh, installation, but one of them has a, a three phase inverter. You'll notice that the power uh, on the inverter, it's a five uh, kilowatt uh, at that moment, five kilowatts of generation is being spread evenly across all three phases. And that's what three phase inverters do. It's called balanced. So balanced generation, they push out that 5,000 watts equally as one third on each phase. But the load power in the, in the home is not necessarily balanced. Um, you might have very little on phase A and B, but uh, there's a, a big air conditioner on, in, on phase C <laughs> and it's drawing quite a bit of power. So the red arrows down mean consumption or can also mean, uh, in the case of price, uh, that you're paying for something. So you might notice over here, I've got a dollar sign and it's showing that you actually end up uh, with a bill uh, because that's a red arrow down, meaning not good. So the problem is that in New Zealand and the Czech Republic, and I'll stop saying that after a while, the metering is done per phase in real time. Now that's very different than Australia and the rest of the world. So that means that effectively there's three registers that are recording separately the generation and the consumption on each phase and then calculating the, the net of each phase like this, one, two, three. And then those are all added together and you're given a bill. Now this significantly disadvantages a three phase inverter uh, on unbalanced loads. And uh, just to give a few more details here, down the bottom I've shown what the uh, buy price for electricity is in this example and what the export or sell price uh, for electricity is. Now the higher that export price is or the closer it is to your buy price the less difference this problem is or the less this problem is but when there is a significant um, difference between your imported energy and your exported energy then in New Zealand the three phase balanced inverter is not necessarily giving you a great outcome. And I, I've put in here what I call the benefit. The benefit is to include the avoided consumption on, in this case, on phase C, we're consuming 4,000 watts, but uh, the meter is only uh, recording a net of 2,333 watts uh, because the inverter is exporting 167 to offset it. So there's a benefit there uh, of self-consumption. Now, my recommendation is if you are in New Zealand and you have a three-phase home or business and you want to maximise the financial benefit of installing solar, a better model is to use a single-phase inverter. Yep, in this case it's the same capacity, it's a five kilowatt uh, single phase inverter, but just put it on the most heavily loaded phase. Therefore, it'll give the most displacement and therefore the most benefit. So in this case, the benefit goes up. So we're getting a, a, a much um, healthier benefit because we're um, offsetting consumption on that phase, um, on C phase. And the overall benefit, including the electricity that you had to buy in on the other phases is shown over here. So you can see the difference. Uh, three-phase inverter with three-phase loads. The benefit's only like 26 cents because we're, we're exporting five kilowatts. But when we put it all onto the heavily loaded phase, the benefit increases. Now, if you're not in New Zealand uh, or a place that has this weird metering arrangement, I call it the rest of the world, it's super simple. The three phases are aggregated in real time. So if you're generating five kilowatts and you're consuming, uh, four kilowatts, <laughs> uh, so you're, you're basically going to get the, the most benefit uh, because you're completely offsetting the other, when I say you're, you're consuming four kilowatts, you're consuming four on one phase, half and half on the other, which is a total of five. That means you actually have a, a net of zero uh, 
uh, purchased electricity and avoided, and that's what the benefit represents, you've avoided buying five kilowatts. So I've tried to put the benefit, which won't show up on, on any of your um, bill data, but it just illustrates why it's a much better way of doing it. So I've asked uh, a few people about why New Zealand has this weird metering, and really I think it's a legacy from before there was renewables uh, on the node ends of a generating network and no one ever really thought about when the metering uh, regulations were established that this would be a problem in the future. Um, I believe that the fix isn't simple, it's not something that the retailers can do, it actually is uh, a, reg a government regulation. So there's another one for Simeon Brown to fix. Uh, Simeon Brown's the energy minister uh, in New Zealand and apparently he's going to fix New Zealand standards being out of date and let, let's add this to his Sure, is fix the New Zealand metering bazaar arrangement.